she was sick. The Bible says that she had been bleeding for 12 years. Because of her uncleanness, or because of the bleeding, she was unclean and couldn't go to church for over a decade. People who passed her by would have definitely said, felt sorry for her. Poor woman. Uh, at night, she only had reprieve and sleep after she drenched her pillow with tears. She tried everything and had exhausted all of her resources. Days turned into months, it turned into years. People would have looked at her and said, she's a nobody. Then you've got Jairus, the big, strong, synagogue ruler, very important man, and he had a daughter who was, who was dying. And so he went to Jesus in the crowd and he said to Jesus, my little baby girl's dying, you gotta come help. And so Jesus went, no time to waste. And on the way, um, they were passing through a crowd and our woman comes up and, and without Jesus noticing, just touches his cloak and she's healed, just like that from her bleeding after 12 years. And then Jesus stops. Now, you can just imagine the look on the disciples' face and the look on Jairus' face going, Jesus, what are you doing? There's a little girl that's dying. We need to go. And then you could see Jesus look on his face. Uh, that was saying, don't you know that there's a woman who's been dying for 12 years that I have to talk to? And so Jesus asks, who touched me? And the disciples actually laugh at him. And they say, who touched you? Come on, we're in a crowd. Everybody's touching you. But Jesus wouldn't have it. Instead, what was Jesus doing? He was watching and looking. He wouldn't stop scanning the crowd until he found her, until finally this, this meek, suffering woman fell at his feet. And, and the Bible says that she told him everything. Literally, she told him the whole truth. Now, that's something. Uh, it, Jesus, the busiest person in the world, but was never in a hurry. He listened to the whole truth. Can you imagine 12 years of suffering, how long that would take? And then after, after she told him everything, Jesus simply said to her, daughter, go in peace. <sighs> that word daughter. Uh, she was unclean. She hadn't been to the temple in over a decade. The thing she longed to hear more than anything was daughter. All the while, the important synagogue ruler had to wait his turn. Yes, Jesus cares for the masses, but he also cares for each individual. Do you find yourself uh, feeling like others don't find you very important? Well, then look to Jesus and see what he's doing. He's scanning the crowd looking just for you. Look to Jesus. Look to his cross and see that he died not only for the whole world, but he, he died just for you. Uh, look to your Savior, Jesus, who makes nobodies into somebody. A and just in case you're wondering if Jesus helped Jairus' daughter, he did. After raising her from the dead, um, there's this little line at the end of the account that some might just gloss over, but I don't think we should. It says, and Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Do you see why that's such a beautiful line? Do you think her parents didn't know to give her something to eat? Of course they did. They had been feeding her for 12 years. But it shows that Jesus cared about her down to the last detail. The one that nobody notices, Jesus notices. As much as he does Peter and James and John, what a comfort that is. When you think that nobody cares, remember that Jesus cares not just for the masses, but he cares for you down to the last detail. He cares for you as an individual. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for blessing this week. Thank you for showing us that you care for the outcast, for the suffering, the controlled, the masses, and especially the individual in need. Teach me to especially care for those in my life who are in need. In your name I pray, amen. Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Before you go on with your day, can I ask one big favor? Can you think of someone who could use the message that you just heard and would you share this episode with them? God loves to use regular moments just like this, a click and a share to connect people to his word and most importantly, to connect souls to their savior. Thanks for sharing this episode and have an amazing day.